All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We are talking about the Las Vegas Raiders in tonight's video. I wish we could have every single Raiders hater the entire offseason, whether it was Christian Wilkins, one of the best DTs in the National Football League, touted as an overpay. Why do you need it? Why would you pay him this much money? He's unproven, blah, blah, blah. Gardner Minshew comes on in for quarterback competition with AOC and Minshew Magic was on full display this afternoon. 26 to 23 victory on the road, folks, against the Baltimore Ravens. One of undisputedly the best teams in the National Football League. And what's crazy is it wasn't even really that pretty of a football game. The first half was right way too reminiscent of week one against the Chargers, just slow, uh, nothing too crazy, nothing good, but the defense holding their own, keeping this Raiders team in the football game. That offense in that fourth quarter and the second half, man, finally came alive. 20 combined points, 13 points in the fourth quarter. Minshew Magic, he kind of owns the Baltimore Ravens right now. This was such an interesting game, and I wish we could say, like, I told you so. Um, I, we, we've been telling you that this Raiders team is better than you think. Uh, but what's crazy is this isn't even really much of a surprise. The just sole fact that Las Vegas took down Baltimore. What was crazy to me is the resiliency this team showed me. Especially on the defensive side, they're so underrated. They're so underrespected. They're so undercovered. And it's got big names. Max Crosby, now you have guys like Christian Wilkins in town, but like, you know, Robert Spillane is a prime example of just dudes who are floating under the radar. It's such a good, talented team defense that the Raiders would never have a top five pick because it's a top five defense, all right? So welcome back to the channel. Obviously, we're talking about the Las Vegas Raiders in tonight's video. Hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily Raiders and NFL content. Raiders fans, especially if you try and get this video to 250 likes, folks, that would mean the absolute world to me. It was a really fascinating game. This defense is legit, man. If the Raiders were able to put up, they put up 26 today against Baltimore, one of the best defenses in the National Football League. If the Raiders were able to like, so like, 100%. If we did like a sim season and I gave the Raiders offense 25 points every single football game, all 17 games in the regular season, folks, to just keep it a buck with you, they'd probably finish like 12 and 5 at worst. Yeah, I said at worst. Um, third down possessions, 4 of 12. Like it wasn't a pretty football game. They had 27 yards of rushing. Zamir White, Abdullah, Madison. 27 yards of rushing but as we know especially having a oh, backup bridge qb and gardner Minshew, stats tell you only so much about it you know this is antonio pierce <laughs> does not give a tale about statistics i mean you know you do have to you're the head coach of an nfl team you have to care about statistics to a certain extent to a certain degree right but your gardner Minshew. The first half, dude, I swear he had like 65 passing yards, 70 passing yards. He finished the day 30 of 38, 276 yards and a touchdown and an interception. I think he just solidified himself as the starting quarterback. I have to freaking cough so badly. Oh my God, sorry. I've got a Zen in. You ever rip a Zen and you feel like it tears and then your throat's just KO'd? Anyways, Gardner Minshew in the first half, the offense was a disaster. You know, it really was. In all, they gave up five sacks. You know, the offensive line is not giving Gardner any benefits. The offensive line is not giving the running back room any benefits. Once again, as a team, the Raiders ran 17 times for 27 yards and a touchdown, averaging 1.6 yards per carry. That cannot last, right? We need to fix that. The Raiders need to fix that immediately. But the offensive line is not helping the run game. It's not even really helping the Gardner Minshew protect himself. He gave up five freaking sacks. Like, yes, it's the Baltimore Ravens, so I'm going to take the win. Every single Raiders fan on the planet is going to take this win. But when you look into the nitty-gritty, the meat and potatoes, it's like, all right, now you know this Raiders team can play, and now it's time to figure out the small stuff. And this offensive line's got to be figured out relatively quickly. But Gardner Minshew just solidified himself as quarterback one for at least another month from now. And the reason I mention that is because 
you know, most of us, myself included, wanted AOC to be our franchise guy. We wanted him to be the dude. But Gardner did a phenomenal job, especially in the second half, especially in the fourth quarter. Devontae Adams, nine catches, 110 yards, and a touchdown. Brock Bowers, some way, somehow, the 13th pick in the NFL draft. You know, we said it the entire offseason, like, listen to a dude like Greg Olson, you know, one of the best NFL tight ends of my lifetime. He said Brock Bowers would have been a fifth pick, sixth pick, at worst, seventh pick in any other NFL draft, and he falls onto the Raiders' lap at 13. And you're seeing it pay off dividends immediately. Nine catches, 98 yards. He was targeted nine times, caught every single ball that was thrown his way. This is an all-pro. This is a stud. This is a day-one contributor like we are already seeing. Zamir White, three catches, 14 yards. Kobe Myers, four catches, 29 yards. Trey Tucker, a couple of catches. Amir Abdullah, a couple of catches. Michael Mayer, a catch. Gardner Minshew spreading the football out. But folks, this defense is hard to explain. It really is. Like, we can look at guys like Max Crosby. Max Crosby this afternoon, six total tackles, two sacks. Those two sacks were unbelievably huge. I mean, especially in the fourth quarter, Max Crosby set in this defense, the entire defense, but Max Crosby's sack in the fourth quarter especially, set up the Raiders to at least have an opportunity to come back and win this football game. But like, you know, dude like Robert Spillane is a really good example, in my opinion. This dude had a phenomenal year. He had a phenomenal year. But most people don't know even who Robert Spillane is at this point in his career. He's 28 years old. This is his sixth season in the NFL. 10 total tackles. A huge game-changing interception against Lamar Jackson. Devon Diablo, consistent, reliable. Christian Wilkins, game-changer. You look at the secondary. Jacorian Bennett, Trevon Morin, Marcus Epps. I mean, they are so unbelievably underrated. It's such a team effort that's led by the defensive line. When you've got dudes, and Malcolm Kuntz hurt. When you got dudes like Max Crosby and Christian Wilkins attacking the quarterback every single possession, causing havoc, it frees up your linebackers. It frees up your secondary. It frees up the entire defense. And we've been saying all offseason, this defensive line is a top five unit on paper in the National Football League. And they're going to keep you in every single football game you play in and if Gardner Minshew and this offense can do what they did in that second half if they can do what they did in that fourth quarter folks the Raiders are going to be back in the playoffs all right I know there's a lot if ands or buts about it especially the offensive line I get it it's not perfect but you just won a road game against the Baltimore freaking Ravens in a second half comeback victory I'm going to take that every day of the week thank you guys so much for watching hit that like button Hit that sub button for daily Raiders and NFL content. But guys, give me a team grade down below. I'm amped up. I can barely talk. Let's get out of here. Peace.